The hidden truth behind our reality is incredibly complex to a society brainwashed with toxic misunderstandings regarding the things we find here from the forgotten ones that we are beginning to recount for. Reporting just recently on finds relating to the search for Cleopatra's tomb, Arab news sources reported that more than 2,000 years after her death, Cleopatra, the enigmatic queen of the Ptolemaic pharaohs, is creating a riddle for archaeologists desperate to find her tomb. However, conflicting reports and news stories on the undiscovered burial crypt are making the search for the elusive tomb increasingly confusing. Arab news agencies state that foreign media claim the recent uncovering of two mummies in Egypt will help in the hunt for the tomb, a puzzle that continues to elude archaeologists. More specifically, in the UK newspaper The Guardian reported that two mummies of high-ranking individuals who lived during the same period as Cleopatra were found just outside of Alexandria, the birthplace of Cleopatra and capital city of the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. The newspaper said that although the burial chamber was hidden for 2,000 years, the mummies were in poor condition due to water leaking all over the place. However, a source in the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities said that the discovery reported by the Guardian is not new and happened several years ago. Evidence revealed that the mummies were originally completely covered in gold leaf, a luxury granted only to those from the highest class of society, and archaeologists say that two may have known Cleopatra herself, and many Egyptologists believe that Cleopatra's tomb is located in Alexandria, where she was born and ruled from her royal palace. The city was destroyed in the year of our Lord 365, and experts believe that the last remnants of the tomb could be about closer to the ancient temple of Tapasiris Magna, built by the Ptolemaics, the Greek rulers of ancient Egypt in the Nile Delta. The temple is said to contain hidden paths and tombs, and Queen Cleo's tomb is thought to be located there, decorated with gold leaf. Researchers say the tomb will answer 2,000-year-old questions surrounding her death. However, Sawa Hussein, a professor of Greek and Roman antiquities at Tanta University, said that there is no scientific evidence of her burial in the region. Cleopatra was no ordinary person, and her tomb must be in a more important and visible place. The professor told the Lost History Channel that she was the last queen of Egypt and one of the most famous rulers in history. She married the Roman Emperor Julius Caesar and fell in love with his minister Antonio. The queen committed suicide with Antonio in 53 BC after the Roman leader Octavian captured her in Alexandria. According to the legend, Cleopatra directed servants to smuggle snakes into her cell, which poisoned and killed her. According to the book, Alexandria, the Library and the Academy in the Ancient World, Cleopatra's tomb was not far from the tomb of Alexander the Great. Alexander's tomb in Alexandria, said to be made of gold, was taken by Ptolemy XI in 101 BC and replaced with a glass sarcophagus and that Cleopatra lived in an era of droughts as evidenced by valuables found in the tombs of her family. Archaeologists claim that Cleopatra's tomb, as well as the rest of the tombs of the Ptolemaic kings, are located in the royal district in the middle of modern-day Alexandria. But what do you, the subscribers of the Lost History Channel, think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.